Well, Cain and Abel, like, you kind of have to be Abel. Nobody likes Cain. Cain's the one that kills the other, the other brother. But, I mean, you got to do what you got to do. So I think today I need to play Cain. Probably normally PC's Cain. Uh, but today I'm going to be Cain. Mr. TC, how are we feeling this morning? Feel really good this morning. Uh, not too good, just very good. Would have loved another hour or so of sleep. I think we're on what, day seven, day eight of the trip? Day nine, who could say? Benny, how are we looking? We're howling at the moon this morning. It's early, Sarge, why'd you oh, get us up? What? Sarge, you tired? No, I'm fucking jacked, ready to go. I'm so psyched. Yeah? What are we gonna see today? First of all, we're gonna see the Fisher's Island. Holy the shit. Logo. <laughs> Drippy, look at his collar. Hey, I'll be there soon. It's been there. He's been invited there like three times. Canceled every time. It's this white whale. Try to try to tweak him a little bit before we get started. We've been doing psychological warfare on him for the last thirty years. Some some would say that's just being a bad older brother. But... <laughs> I can't, I can't help but notice the harsh facial hair. That's right. What is it? It's a statement, but what does it say? Keep it tight. It was time to, time to do some edging. Yeah. Some edging. Uh, you know what? It usually puts me in a good mood. I wake up and look like a moron. Keeps me focused outward, not inward. I'm trying to think who you look like. Kind of like uh, uh, Biff from Back to the Future 3. Sure. We've come a long way from Pacific Grove, but still true to our roots. Battling through a little injury here on the pinky. Got a little, little blister going. So I think it's the type that's gonna make me focus a little bit more though. I'm gonna play my game. I'm gonna let TC do all his crotch chopping and all the stuff he's been doing for 32 years that I've watched as a young buck growing up. He's playing some good golf right now. I gotta give him a lot of credit. He's nuclear off the tee. Um, just seeing seeing some tough course management stuff happen though. So something to keep an eye on for the folks. Is this the first time that Neil's like theoretically been better than you at golf? No. I think the last few years it's been But I mean handicap, handicap wise. wise. No. I mean he's gotten nuclear with the driver. Played left handed for a year. But no, I think it's probably Some would say that's just part of the journey to get you here. Exactly. Everything was a prelude to today. Exactly. <laughs> you feel me? Go get up, TC. Thank you. Hey, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Let's hit the road. I think everybody's a little bit ragged this morning, but pulling up to this course, I think everybody felt a little bit rejuvenated uh, getting out here. TC, what should we know about this place? William Watson. So William Watson Design Golf Club, uh, 1925. Of all the golf courses that William Watson made, Olympic Club, Minicata, uh, Interlochen, Olympia Fields, about 120 golf courses. The only golf course he made in Michigan was Belvedere. You think you've been here before? I have. What do you think? A few times. Exceptional golf course. It's like stepping back in time. He was here every summer for you know 25 years, so we can't figure out why he didn't do another golf course in Michigan besides ours. But luckily he did it, he did it and it was, it's turned out great. And these are the original Watson greens. They're the exact same things you'll see today. It's awesome surrounds and awesome greens. All the reasons why I liked it, instantly came flooding back. The old school nature of the place, the corridors. I love the front nine being so distinct from the, the back nine. The type of place that would make me really enjoy the game of golf, playing it day after day. How did Tom Watson end up here? He vacationed here as a small boy. When Ray, his, his dad wanted to play golf, he came to Belvedere. And they were both became members here and they played since I say was, Tom was six years old through college. Calls that this is third favorite golf 
course behind uh, Augusta National and Pebble Beach. I guess Neil asked the pro what Willie Watson was like. <laughs> Willie Watson, what was he like? We never met him. <laughs> he was he was born in 1860. Okay. So I think you know Neil Neil's already out over his skis, and I think I expect that to continue all day today. Hey Neil, whatever okay. happens today, you're still my brother. Okay. Okay. That's nice. Technically, that's nice. Of he wasn't though. Kick his ass. What else is going on today? <laughs> Club championship today. Club championship. It's gonna yeah. be dialed up out there. It's gonna be pretty nice out there. And Jordan's got the course looking. You gotta hit cups, Schuster. Nice for oh, you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah boys got to hit cups if it's club championship day. That's every day for me. Come on. I'm, That's I'm Tuesday. Scooping. We're scooping everything. I'm scooping in. everything inside eight feet. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Best of luck. Good luck to you. Swing. Ooh, big first bounce. Good shot. Yeah, that was a big bounce, huh? We want to have it play firm and fast. We want to minimize the amount of water on the golf course. So you kind of play it like a, a link style Go. golf club where you have to bump and run things into the greens. Come on. Big match today. DJ and Goodbar versus Mr. Phil. Mr. Solly. Oh, Hi, man. Oh, good gosh. Seems, seems familiar. TC is extremely confident. He's getting two strokes. There was just a little bit of different energy out of Neil this morning. I like skittishness. You could tell he was a little nervous. Uh, sometimes that can be good. I think TC's. This would be a huge blow to to TC Corp to lose today after some of the stuff he said the last couple days. So I'll I'll say TC gets what? it done. We'll say two and one. Good putt. Thank you. I was gonna take Neil until I found out TC was getting two pops, which feels a little dirty, based solely on the fact that Thanks. TC's been peacocking around everywhere, telling everyone he's found well, it. Then. I believe he mentioned maybe 35 times last night that he made nine birdies yesterday. Uh, anytime I've ever been peacocking around telling everyone I found it, it is immediately gone the next day. Fuck. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take Neil. I have faith in Neil. Oh, that's so good, guys. Good shot. Yep. He's a grinder. You know, they both have the fake confidence going, but I, I think I think Neil's is maybe just a little more fake. I'm gonna go Tron. It's gonna feel a little dirty if he beats him. Getting two pops, he beats him by like one. System's the system, man. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I trust my hitters at the handicap system. I bet you do. Never let me down. I would say I was pretty locked in in the match, so I wasn't taking in a, a ton of the uh, Kind of the vibe like you guys probably were. I did, however, point out uh, the fourth hole, the par three with the clubhouse sitting above and uh, the uh, the layer cake, as I believe the Sarge called it, uh, was an idyllic setting. I thought it was very much the, the all-American scene. Great hole and uh, just a great scene. I feel like every time we go to a classic golf course, they have at least one, sometimes two, par threes that are just total flexes. They had probably drivers back in the day. I mean, it was, a, it was a very, very different game, but it seems ah, like come on, cut. older courses are more likely to have like come a 230, down. 240 par three than like modern courses are. Is that a fair take? Yeah, people yeah. were tougher back then. Bye <laughs> though. Awesome shot. Putt. All right. Two up. Very reliable source told me it was his favorite public course or potentially the best public course in the United States. That was Mike DeVries, uh, who I met the day before. I, I really enjoyed the course and I thought it was something that I, as they say, could play every day. All right, a little pressure on him. you know about that pond? 
Ooh, got he cleared by a fucking foot. Chill. Chill. Ooh, that's gonna be close up there. Unfucking believable. Is that any good? No, I yipped it. I yipped it. God. I think it's the Great American Golf Course. Why you say that? It had all the elements, the, uh, the quaintness, the personality, the sense of place. I hesitate to throw any under, other supers under the bus, but I think those were probably the best greens we've played on the entire trip. But thank you. Tough break, gotta read. Ah, go. Just a toe job. The bunkers were at grade, which I thought was really interesting. What do you mean by that? They were like, it was basically like somebody just killed off the grass and didn't really dig a bunker. They just put some sand there. Jack has never been there, basically. <laughs> yeah, like. yeah, where it was like, it was a penalty, but it wasn't, it wasn't overly punishing for shittier players. But Oh, and what an eagle it is. Three. First one on the trip. There's that dance that drives not, the ladies crazy. Not the first one I've seen on the trip, but the first one on the trip. <laughs> <laughs> that felt a little scuzzy. It's only 470. Good three. Thank you. Oh, God. Hit it, hit it. Oh. Fuck. Um, nine holes down here at Belvedere. Uh, all square. Zero, zero ball game. Yeah, uh, I don't think either of us played our best. Wiggled in a putt on seven, and then a uh, good two putt on eight. Played nine like a complete jackass. Uh, a little shaky. I think I had too much coffee this morning. I feel good, I feel like I let him off the mat and he's getting a stroke on 18, so we gotta close it out on 17. That's all I have to say. Randy, we're about to cross a road. Why is that important? On the other side of the road sits a different county. It's a county line and we're Belvedere. The golf shop, the clubhouse, the front nine sit in one county, which is a dry county, and the other side of the road is a wet county. Um, so, technically, we could buy beer across the road. I don't, Belvedere doesn't sell any but there are gas stations up the road um, that will sell you beer, I guess for the back nine. You gonna get a little- but Don't tell anybody. You gonna get a little lubed up on the back nine? Yeah, yeah, that's what I like to do. <laughs> Probably get a sixer, should be good for my nine holes. Hell yeah. Yeah. Thoughts on the front nine? Absolutely loved it. It's got a really, really strong playability between the fairway and rough. You're gonna find your ball in the rough, but you're gonna pay a price, and that's all because of green firmness. The greens are firm enough that it's really hard, even with a wedge, throwing one way up in the air to get one to stop where it lands, whereas in the fairway, you can spin it. So it rewards accuracy off the tee. You gotta shape some shots. It's it's just like very peaceful. I feel like yesterday was kind of like rock music and today is like a little bit of smooth jazz. Uh, Neil Love 10, obviously. Um, the Muni template. Yeah. We got to 10 and Randy goes, Neil's gonna absolutely love this hole. Just a dead. Dead straight par five. With great bunkering. Yeah. I thought it was it was a very handsome hole. God, tough right there. Stretch. That's good. Sit. Sit. 
Over. No, that's brilliant. Good shot. Really good, Neil. Great putt. Good. Putt. Great bird. Thank you. Icarito goes one up. 12 was such a cool fairway. Uh, you know, like you could drive it down there, but if you went up the left, you had a flatter lie, you were falling off up the right. That's good. Right there, down. Oh God. I, uh, I don't think I've ever lost my swing like quite that badly for a 20 minute stretch before and then realized like, oh yeah, what are you doing? I'm just flailing my elbow out and everything's going like this. Just keep my elbow in. And, but I kept making back swings. I couldn't figure out like, it just felt different. It felt like I was swinging around my body like a baseball swing. You good. Oh. Where's the wind? Oh, fuck! One more big ass flurry of punches is coming my way. I know it. Great chip. Thank you. Oh, man, come on. Ah! Please talk to us, talk to these kids, talk everybody through through the eagle on 15. Well, what I did first was give my partner bad information. I told him you know, the hill was gunch and... And then, and then Cody then gave us that information as well. Yeah, which I felt bad about. Hey, it's okay, you made Eagle, bud. But I remembered it being, you know, you either gotta choose to stay up top and take a lesser club and, and be okay with that, and then you have a longer second shot, or you gotta hit a really good golf shot to cut the corner and get on the lower level. Shoot the gap. Get up there. Go in. Go in. Go in. Oh! oh! <laughs> it's fun to use the contour. You gotta man. use the course. You gotta use, but you gotta hit the slopies to get the slopies. Exactly. I always say that. Good shot. Thanks. Hey, Jumbo yeah. bird! So I just so you That's know. how you do it. You got bend, more bend, more bend in the knees. There you go. Hell yeah. Good eagle, man. Gosh. How many eagles is that worth? Or how many birdies is that worth well, in the count? Thing is. Does that count for two, man? Oh, at least two. Yeah. Oh, you made me five. <laughs> Four. Up. Oh. Randy was a complete evangelist after that shot where he just goes, God damn it. That. That's why we need firm turf. It helps me <laughs> so much. And I think that speaks to a lot of players, right? It just, it, it A, makes it more fun. It B, makes it more strategic. It C, makes it, it, it covers your errors a little bit more. It like both hurts you and helps you in very interesting ways. It's just, we were joking the whole day. It's like, the course is there to either help you or hurt you. And it's much more fun when you can- Just like let it help you. Yeah. Well, not only that, it's a hell of a lot more entertaining. Good putt, man. Good putt. All right, two up. Two up. Can we talk about 16? Oh, 16. And number 16 is Tom Watson's favorite short par four in golf. It's got a green built on the side of a hill. Devilishly difficult. If you miss it left, you have a terrible chip. If you miss it right, it spills down 50 yards. Decision time. I'm deeply uncomfortable about what I'm going to hit off the tee. It looks like the play is to take on that bunker on the right hand side, try to get something short right and pitch straight up the hill. I saw there's kind of a French drain trough looking thing on the left. It's just, there's a, a lot of thoughts going through my head. No, no real good ones right now. God, he swings too fucking fast. I can't get his swing on camera ever. Oh 
my god. That is absolutely boned. We're running down the hill. Uh, Shout out to Mr. Watson. Fuck. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Apologize Did you get for the my good shots on camera today. Apologize for the language you guys just heard. Just give me this fucking thing. I was joyous at how I played that hole. I played it up the left. I, I think I landed my shot in a coffee can of where I was trying to land that shot, and it rolled 60 well, yards down well, the hill. Well, we told you good shot, and then it was like literally 10 seconds later. I cut the camera. Yeah, we see his ball start snaking away down the back edge. We're like, oh my god, DJ, I'm so sorry. Important update. <laughs> DJ is down by me. Not even mad. That was an awesome shot, and that's sick. I love holes. I love holes like that. <laughs> wow. God, I can't wait to see what happens in their match. They're gonna be so pissed. We were looking ahead, and like, it looked like Goodbar's ball rolled down yeah. the hill nine times. I mean, listen, we took 24 combined strokes between the four of us. Uh, Don't lump me in this group. That, that's, I made a four. Oh, did make a four. Oh my God, it stopped in the fringe. Thanks. Oh, sit. Safe. He came in from the right. It was more of an examination of spin control and distance control. If you came in from the left, it was much more an examination of shaping it or of, you know, hitting it in the, like the, the proper direction. Yeah. Fuck. Good run. That's good. Two good ones. If that catches the slope, that might be Come really on, take good. the slope. Oh. Go in. Go in. I got it, I got it, I got it. It's in the tree. Damn, down. Don't do that. Oh, climb. Fuck. God. Sit. Sit. Settle. Got one to the hole. God, just strike the putt, dude. Uphill, both of them. Just both of them. Thanks. Right there. Right there. God. Let's go, baby. Come on. Found That's all the, you got for the people? Found the driver there, finally. First, like, really, really well composed driver swing, maybe all day. You since, had to like, the first hole. Out of a little hole. I did. You know what? Character comes from adversity. I think I got a shitload of character. You gotta believe. You gotta just hit a good shot here, figure out the next one when it comes.
Go a little bit. Down, down. He couldn't stop one there if you gave him a hundred tries. <laughs> what a wild little spot. All right, come on, let's buckle down. Just a half a groove low there. That's good. That's good. You're in for five? Yeah. yeah. We win. Thanks. Hate that. I mean, I knew I had to, had to get it before 18 and I just, one bad swing on 17. A bad club, I don't know. Tried to do a little too much there, but just didn't feel good about this hole from the start. But it's all square. We are very much, very much in a good spot. Just gotta get one win. The job has only just begun. But Zero, zero ball game, anybody's game. I gotta banish what just happened and just move forward, right? Uh, got some good momentum going and found the driver's swing on that last one. So I'll talk to you guys after the round. Swing, Neil. Thank you. Sit, sit. Yeah, you know, I'm, I'm gonna take a drop from this sprinkler head. Sally, can I get a ruling? So club length, basically any. Basically, yeah. Like that? Yeah. That ball's now in play. Sit. Sit. Good read. That's good. Oh no. Down, down, down. Potential mega angle. Come on. Start, gotta start playing a win. Looks pretty good. good. Woo! Great shot, Neil. Oh no. You gotta turn your hands over. Hit the nine, hit the fucking nine. 
Where's he? I almost jar that. I had a little conversation with myself to stop being a punk bitch on the way to that ball, and it helped. 150, pitching wedge, fly or lie. It's a good process. Dig myself out of the quicksand a little bit there. I bet that pot on the last was money. But you know what? It wasn't. Ah. Oh. But really nice. Thanks. Just a just a routine par, you know. That's good. Did that go right, really? Same fucking thing as earlier. Stay out of it. It's so wide up there. I was right up the right up the gut here. That's what I thought, right right through here. Turn over. Down. Sit. Saddle, saddle, saddle. Really good putting. Fucking hit it. <laughs> Good stuff. Love you, bud. You too. Good point. Good battle. Way to battle. I feel like I got my tail tucked a little bit. You, oh, you uh, I... that was a total defensive, defensive. Hold! Hold the line. Coming at me with the phalanxes, man. Shit. Great match. What are you feeling? Uh, a little sheepish. Like, you know. You need a little, a little more conviction. But. We're on to the championship, so I need to embrace that. It's kind of one of those like Sweet 16 matchups where you just you just gotta gotta get gotta get through. He's such a fucking grinder, man. So so much respect for TC. Brings out the best and the worst in me. Just a, a bunch of like I might you know a lot of deja vu, a lot of God we've been here before. Can't believe it. Not again. No, stop, stop saying that. Stop doing that. We just, we did enough. Oh. I'm hungry. I'm trying to think of 1920s words. You know, handsome, dapper, elegant. That's what I think of around this course. It's, um, you know, it's, it's not punishing, it's not bruising. You should be able to go around with one golf ball. But there's a you know there's enough slope and a little contouring that I feel like it it gets that creative juices flowing a little bit. Yesterday at Kingsley Club felt you know like more of an athletic endeavor. You're you're going up up and over hills. Uh, you're you're kind of playing these heroic shots, and this feels more like you're in just kind of like your neighborhood city park. You're wandering around, maybe packing a picnic lunch, uh, and just having a really a really good time with good people. It was, uh, it was a really nice place. So we left Belvedere, 
Uh, we have not played much lakefront golf on this trip, so we decided to go to Bay Harbor. Uh, many people call it the Pebble Beach of the Midwest. We can debate that on another show. Uh, Big, what'd you think? You, you've been there before. Yeah, it's great. I wanted you guys to see it. It's, uh, it's an interesting golf course. Three nines, they're very distinct. Uh, you and I, we, us three played the Lynx, which, you know, it doesn't play like a Lynx, but it gets you by the lake. Much and, more like Pebble Beach. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Crystal, when he was going to chip this in. He is looking to hold this. And, oh, let's go! And Mr. Chris did chip this in. And that was sitting on goose shit. I swear, <laughs> I swear to God, it was sitting on goose shit. Neil Chan, you guys played the quarry, which is snakes through an old uh, cement quarry. Yeah, and some, then, some good infrastructure. The third nine that we didn't see is the preserve, which is just very much more tuned down. And, and it's just kind of through the woods, and, and that's what it is. I think you and Ben can carry the, oh, yeah. the, the gunk, right? Do you think I can carry it 230, Randy? Well, Okay. Well, thank you to our friends at the Precision Pro app. 277 run out at the cart path. You know, for a lot of people that come up to this part of the the state and this part of the country, like that's that's the highlight of their golf experience. The views, you know, it's like they, they take a bunch of pictures and and it's wonderful for that. That's in the hole. Oh, nice save. Be enough. Be enough. Be enough. Oh, stay there. Great shot, Big. Good job, Mr. Hey. Big. Woo. It's very different than everything, almost everything else from this trip, right? This yeah. is like the postcard golf course. Like I, I caught myself just like standing off the seventh green at one point. You just take like, a selfie at one point. I took a selfie at one point, <laughs> sent that to the wife. You almost don't want the, the golf to be connection. that good because you just want to be able to just zone out. It was joyous. Like that, this morning scratched my golf itch, and then like this afternoon just scratched my like appreciation for nature fun. and the game and the connection of all that. So I really loved it. I think you got to be self-effacing about the price. I mean, I think it's going to cost you more than it's going to cost you to play Pasa Tiempo or... It's like, vi it's like it, let's let's be straight up, like, it's violently overpriced. It's it's very expensive. It's You're not going to ever play it probably for less than 150 or 200 bucks. Uh, I would which, say probably less than, like, 250. I mean, I, I think it's probably the high point of a lot of people's years, and I think a lot of that is due to the views. And to your point, Ollie, I think, at least on the links, I, I, you know, it, it came with some substance on the golf too. I, I really, really enjoyed it. Best chipper in Leewood. <laughs> Uh-oh. Nah, that's hard. Good match, boys. And then the other thing I want to mention is this bar that we're at. Neil, can you tell us about this bar that we're at? Yes, we came here. <laughs> you might not be uh, able to remember anything. No, I do remember the shape and structure. Uh, we came here, what, 12 years ago? I forget exactly. Yeah, 10 around years ago? It, yeah. For a Boyne Cup, which is good bars. It's like 2012. Annual I trip that he takes with his college buddies, Randy's brother-in-law. Came here. Apparently, you get your, your name on the wall. It's like a brew crew. If you drink, you know, all If 16, you drink every beer on their menu and what, in, in one it's sitting. It's like 100 beers. Yeah, you get your name on the wall, but you can spread it out amongst. And the group, so there of were twelve course. of us, and we were like, "Well, like, what if we all do it?" And they're like, "Yeah, we'll put your, you know, Boyne Cup. We'll put your group name up there." And so, being the youngest, I took all the ice houses and red dogs and steel reserves, and uh, you know, yeah, I ended up stumbling out of that place, and I think I may have um, made, you know thrown up in Randy's car or something My like Saturn. That. And I'm trying to figure if it was so my Saturn, Saturn 1 or Saturn 2. So I don't know if we ever finished the job. We did. Our yeah, name's yeah. up there. Hell yeah. We should go we fin it. And uh, we finished the job because of you, soldier. <laughs> and I want you to know that. Mission accomplished. We're all very proud of you. I came, came home to see you. I came home to see you.